a loader. For this year, my intention is to publish a video about once every month. It's not for lack of content that I don't upload very often, it's just that uh, new projects are always more interesting than documenting previous projects. So today I'll be documenting presenting some of the work that I do on my polylamp project. As the title might suggest, it's not a lamp for polyamorous people, although not excluded. It is a lamp that is modular and consists of polyhedral objects. So in this case, these are octahedron, and you can stack them, and as soon as you connect them, they will light up and they will snap into place magnetically. So basically, we need uh, two contacts. We need a mechanical contact so to, to align it, and we need an electrical contact to conduct electricity throughout the various cubes. Now, this one on the left is one of my earlier prototypes. Well, there is a lot of prototypes, uh, like 5, 10, I don't know, I lost count. But this one is one that I finished a bit more. And the idea is that we have uh, uh, ball bearing spheres, and by putting a magnet in between them, they attract magnetically, and the coating is electrically conductive, so we can use the the uh, yeah the surface of the magnets and the ball bearings to conduct electricity. So quite an easy solution, and it also looks quite elegant. One issue with this is that it's not mechanically defined, and as you can see, the contact is also not very good. So a solution, now I'll have to rework it a bit, is to use an insert in between, and this one has, instead of the, the cylindrical magnets, has rectangular magnets, so they have a line contact. And by using six line contacts, we uh, mechanically constrain, kinematically constrain the movement. So now it snaps into place and it is much more rig rigid, so the stiffness is much higher. So this contact mechanically is way, way better than the previous one. But I need a piece in between and I don't really like it. I want it to be very pretty, this, this lamp. And also the electrical contact is better, but still you can see that it's not perfect. This one here is a next prototype, and I'll show it close by. We have two magnets, and these are north-south magnets. And here is a very small spring-loaded contact. I don't know if you can see it. Let's focus. There we go. So I can compress it. And it has a small amount of travel. So this guarantees that we have good electrical contact. And well, as you can see, it works quite well. And this one also has the electronics wired up such that it lights up in every possible position, which is quite tricky. But to explain how it works, I would need a dedicated video. And I really like this, this next prototype. Uh, because it it well it feels nice, so it snaps into place, and also the electrical contact is way better, so I can move it around and the LEDs stay on perfectly. So yeah, if you have any ideas on how to get this contact better, like electrically, without using the intermediate piece, then let me know. And also, if you have any other comments, please let me know. Thanks for watching.